Good morning, YouTube. It's early Sunday morning. I got the camper shell off the truck. That means we're picking up something big. So join us on our little adventure. Come on. So good morning, everyone. Uh, today we're going up to Freedom Breeders facility. They're a couple hours north of where I live in Bakersfield. And we're gonna pick up a shipment of cocoa blocks and a cocoa block shaker. That shaker is gonna be uh, pretty handy in the snake pit, man. That's gonna be our job cart and our cocoa blocks cleaner upper. And we're gonna be sitting on a, a boatload of cocoa blocks after this trip. So that way, I'm good on cocoa blocks for a while. And if anyone needs some in the local area where I live, you know, they can come and pick some up for me. I'll spread the love, you know. That's part of uh, our philosophy over here at Small Town Exotics. Support local business, support your area. You know, I've, I've used other products other than cocoa blocks. I've found cocoa blocks to be the the superior product and they're semi-local to me like I said they're just a couple hours north of me and uh, you know who doesn't know who Freedom Breeder is you know they got the best racks in the business the best substrate in the business maybe while we're up here we can get a little sneak peek of their facility maybe uh, we can meet Jesse I don't know if any of you watch the reptiles unplugged episode where I was on but you know part of my philosophy is doing my business for small town exotics face to face and that's how you develop relationships in our community you know and uh, get a better network established you know think about it if you get sh uh, something shipped to your door versus going up and shaking somebody's hand <clears throat> and doing the deal in person I mean What's the difference in that relationship? If they just ship it to your door, you're just a number and an invoice, you know? If you go up and meet them face to face, have a conversation, shake their hand, you're gonna have a better relationship moving forward, you know? Don't get me wrong, you can't go and meet everyone face to face, you know? I, uh, I purchased a snake from Hardwired Exotics they're in Georgia, you know, so obviously I'm not going to drive to Georgia to get that snake, but I've had a lot of interaction uh, through social media and text messages with Tony and his partner Craig. Southern word of the day, Craig. I'm going to set the camera down, do this drive, listen to Reptiles Unplugged, and... Enjoy my alone time. All right, we're here at the world famous Freedom Breeder. You may know this guy behind me. Let's get a little, there's the famous warehouse where the best racks in the world are made. And what else do you guys have that's the best? What am I picking up today, Jesse? Some cocoa blocks, y'all. And we also got the shakers, the cocoa block shakers. He's getting one of them. He's gonna be very excited once he uses it. He doesn't even know what he's in for. Let's go check it out over here. All right. So there it is. Best racks in the world, best substrate in the world, and the cocoa block shaker. Just a little bit more on that on your left side. We'll be good. Yeah, you're good right there. Mm -hmm. 
So we just got half a pallet of the best substrate in the world from Jesse himself at Freedom Breeder. Look at that beautiful, beautiful. Oh, here's the past up thing. So you get more of like this, like, I don't know, I get, I see more of this orange going on with the, the paint mixed in. You see all the little speckling and whatnot, a little bit of flaring in between. Yeah, some pastels have it, but they, you just get a unique look to it when you mix the paint. This is from a super paint uh, male or female, I don't know which one it was. I have to look at the breeding card. Yeah, so there's no doubt. Yeah, there's no, there's no like if, ands, or buts, because I always put just possible because it's such a subtle gene mm -hmm. that I don't want to like, if I only bred a something paint to it, not super paint or super sentinel, then I don't want to, I don't want to take a risk of the customer being upset that it's not what it was. You know what I mean? It's yeah. not worth the, worth the headache over it. Here's a, here's a single gene paint. So if you look, pull off the shell. I see a lot of this going on in yeah. that. It's kind of pixelated in through there. You got the little flecking. Yeah. Uh -uh. Yeah. It's subtle. Yeah. But you can see a difference. Yeah, than your average normal. I don't know if yeah. you have a normal in there. I probably do a heck of some sort. I gotta get something with similar size or more similar. Pastel paint. You see it, how it like I don't know how it like gets more of a that small speckling inside of it. Yeah. Same right, thing I you see. saw on the other one. Yeah, but it so is real. We subtle. have another one. Here's, oh that's that other one. Has some of it going on. I'm just trying to get all serious. Let's see This was that one snake that I posted up the other day. Stone cheek bamboo clown. Same shit. Still looks great though. Oh yeah. Eyes all blue. Mm hmm Oh yeah. Man, you got a lot of killer stuff. Yeah, they can say the same thing about Arroyo too. Yeah. See, the Arroyo has these small circles and whatnot. Yeah. But then the, the Rio has like striping and whatnot. But you can see that this has got something else in it, you know? Yeah, the way that stuff goes over the back, it's kind of banded. And you see this doesn't have all that crazy uh, black speckling on the sides. Yeah. See, this is a this would be a Paso Rio, a, ro a Royal, sorry. You see you got this, but you don't see the black, look. Yeah. Whoa. All right, Just gotta calm <laughs> down. I don't want it to. Side by side? Yeah. You see like little speckling, whatnot. Yeah. Little neck striping. Not not nothing crazy, but oh, this guy's getting crazy. No. Yeah, but it, you can, you'll be able, you'll be able to see it when you when you produce them. You'll be like, okay, I see it. But if you don't have a super, it's always not a good idea to uh, say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a guaranteed gene. Yeah. It's just like when you breed like a vanilla cream to something, you can't be like, oh, that's guaranteed fire. That's guaranteed vanilla. Yeah. Unless you have like a vanilla gene. Like our vanilla gene is completely different than any fires I've ever seen. So I, I would be able to tell it when I breed our vanilla stuff. Let me see. I thought I had, saw a vanilla down here. That's it. Not that I seen I seen an episode where you were talking about your vanilla. Yeah. Dude. I try to keep up on all your stuff. Yeah, there's a lot man, of you, the series you did like just like on certain genes, you know what I mean, when you'd highlight them shit, man, that's what helped me like start identifying shit. Yeah, that's yeah. good. That's what that was my goal. You know what I mean? That was that's the whole reason I started the channel. I was like, we have so many snakes, like why don't I share all my experiences with them and share all the genetics that I'm working with and what I see in it and how I see it. So that way other people can get a better chance of like uh, identifying snakes that they're in interested in buying or interested in investing in or anything, you know what I mean? So that was my goal when I started the channel. Yeah, no, dude, I appreciate it, man. Yeah, for sure. Seriously. But, but yeah, no, I have so much different stuff. It's ridiculous, like ghost pie stuff. When you see these in person, it's oh, like, wow. I think Ghost is one of those ones that's like not used enough, man. Yeah, yeah, I agree. 
The only bad thing is once you start mixing in a lot of jeans, you start like losing that ghost. Yeah. Because nice. it kind of uh, has like a, uh, I don't know how to explain it, but once you start mixing in a lot of jeans with the ghost, like the ghost kind of like disintegrates. Yeah. Unfortunately, because I really like the, that ghost pie. Is, I think ghost pie is probably one of my favorite combos for like uh, ghost combos. But yeah. Oh, and then the Rio, just to explain the fact that it shows a, another gene to it and get the super. Yeah, look at the hooks. Mm -hmm. Real nice looking. Try to look on the camera. Looks pretty good. Oh, yeah. Those are pretty nice. Bamboo, black hair, vanilla. Another vanilla one, bamboo cinnamon vanilla, which is also fucking crazy. That's badass. I like that one. Yeah, and then that's the one with blackhead. Yeah. Real nice. Jesse, bring in the heat. Yeah. You said you were trying to get a nanny, right? Well, I like it. You might like it more than you see it. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Maybe. But that's <laughs> that, that super quake stuff. Alright. Yeah, some of the alien heads are like floating and stuff. Mm hmm Oh yeah. So we're all loaded up heading back to Bakersfield with half a pallet of cocoa blocks. The best substrate in the world, and also a cocoa block shaker. And uh, I just want to give a big shout out to Jesse at Freedom Breeder. Man, that guy invited me into his hatchling room, gave me a tour. I mean, <clears throat> that's a top notch guy right there. Highly impressed with the way he conducts himself, how friendly he is. I mean, I, I can't say anything better about him, man. I mean, he's just. Phenomenal guy, very down to earth, and uh, thank you, Jesse, for having me over, and uh, thank you for hooking me up with all the cocoa blocks and the shaker. Look forward to doing lots of business with you in the future, man. All right. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, and we'll see you guys next time.